This conference will now be recorded. God bless you this morning. Amen. As we come to give God praise, we give God praise today to allow us to see another day, a day that we have never seen before. And a day that we never see again. Oh God, we bless your name. Amen. He's worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down of the same. He's worthy. Amen. Amen. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With my hands lifted up, mouth filled with praise. With a heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be made glad. Oh, man, fly the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. For the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. But the Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silent before him. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. No, we may not be in the sanctuary but I believe, brothers and sisters, that your own home ought to be a sanctuary. Amen. You ought to have your own tabernacle established. Amen. You ought to have your own praying ground. Amen. Where you can go and meet the Lord. And boy, more importantly, the Lord can meet you and share of his goodness and tell of his love. God bless you today. I'm glad to be here this morning. So glad I'm here. So glad I'm here in Jesus name. I'm going to pray. While I'm here, I'm going to shout while I'm here. I'm going to rejoice while I'm here in Jesus name. God bless you. We honor the spirit of Christ who's the head of my life, who's the head of this house. Amen. And do I have any Joshua warriors in the house that able to declare as for me in my house, uh, for me in my house, we will serve the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. We have a Joshua conviction. My heart is fixed and my mind is made up. For the rest of my life, I'll serve him. Hey, hallelujah. I believe that today. Somebody need to have that Joshua conviction. God bless you today. We give honor to whom honor is due to our ministerial staff, our minister Patricia Graham, our minister Julia Hayes, our evangelist Evelina Cooper, to our deacons, our chairman Brian, Frank Brian, the chairman of deacons ministry, all the deacons, amen, to our Amen. Our deaconess ministry, uh, deaconess president, Rosa Bryant. Amen. To our trustee ministry. Amen. Chairman Jake McIver. To our mother's ministry. Amen. God bless your heart. Our spiritual leaders of the church. Amen. To the disciples of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To our visitors, to our friends, and to those who are yet caught between two opinions. It's still not too late to come on the Lord's side. So we greet you with Jesus' joy. I'm glad to able to be your uh, uh, under shepherd and uh, overseer, but just the chief custodian, amen. That's all I am is the custodian of God's house. Amen, amen. As the custodian, sometimes you got to clean up the mess, the other folk mess that people make. So that's why Job, Job had to go before the Lord and say, perhaps my children, my sons and daughters have sinned, but nevertheless, we thank God that we're able to be here this morning. Jesus, joy, amen. I'm not the worship leader this morning. We got some help, amen. So we got our worship leader today. We're going to present to some, introduce the others, other than our deacon Charles Cooper. He's going to lead us, amen, in worship today, amen. Come on, deacon Cooper. God bless your heart. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, man, what it is a wonderful day today. First of all, come and give an honor to the Spirit of Christ, who's the head of my life on this, the Lord's Day, uh, recognizing our pastor, the Reverend Frank Hawkins, our deacon Frank Bryan, the chairman of the Diaconate Ministry, and my fellow deacons, and to our deacon Jake McIver, chairman of the trustee ministry, and my fellow trustees, to the deaconess on our sister Rosa Bryan, deaconess Rosa Bryan, uh, to our ministerial staff, sister Minister Julia Hayes, Minister Patricia Graham, and Evangelist Evelina Cooper, 
to our sister Brenda K. Foreman, the director of Christian education, and our technician who does such a marvelous job. And she does it when we have Bible study, prayer service, meetings, and uh, when later we have many gifts and many talents. And we just thank God for her. Uh, we uh, thank our music director, our sister May Ravel, our ushers, our youth ministry, our mother's boys, all of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I do greet you today in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but I have come to worship and to praise the Lord on this day. Because he, as, 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 I worship him simply because he is everything I need him to be. And because uh, he has been my bridge over troubled water. He has been my provider and still is my provider. And I just thank him and, and that he has kept me for all of these so many, many years. And I just pray that the rest of you that are online this morning, you other brothers and sisters who might not be a member of the Greater Central Baptist Church, we welcome you too. But we're praying that everybody this morning will be worshiping our Lord and Savior in spirit and in truth. Uh, we have a program, a uh, worship service, order worship service this morning. And we're going to start off because I know everyone is interested in hearing the word. And so the sooner we get started with the worship service, uh, we can get to the word this morning that's going to be coming from our pastor. So the first we're going to have our scripture reading from Brother Kenneth Harvey. And that will be followed by our congregational hymn, Joy to the World, led by our director of music, Sister May Revell. Brother Harvey? I'm on. Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. I'll be reading from Romans, first chapter, 16th to the 17th verse. It reads as follows. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to the salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jews first and also to the Greek. For in it is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. Once again, I just read from Romans first chapter, 16th to the 17th verse. May the Lord add a blessing to those who hear and does his word. Amen. Amen. Can you hear me? Praise the Lord. Yes. Yeah. 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 The Lord has come. Let us receive her King. Let every heart prepare him wrong. And heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing, and heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their song employ, while fields and floods, while hills and plains, repeat the sounding joy. Repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. He rules the world with truth and grace, and makes the nation prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love, and wonders of his love. And wonders and wonders of his love. Merry Christmas, church. I love y'all. <laughs> I'd like to thank our brother, Kenneth Harvey, for the scripture and for our music director, Sister Mary Vell, for our congregational hymn. We will now have prayer by our brother, uh, MacArthur Williams, and which will follow him would be our brother, a selection by our brother George Middleton. Brother MacArthur? Good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, good morning. Give it an honor to God. I want to read a scripture here, 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. 
He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of a shadow of death, I will feel no evil, for you are with me. Your rod, your staff, thy company. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You announce my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. I have read the 23rd Psalm. God bless each and every one of you, and glad to be here today. God bless. Hello? Yes, Brother Middleton, you're on. Brother Middleton? Star six, Brother Middleton. Brother Middleton, is star six yourself? It seems as though our brother Middleton is having some problems, some technical problems. So we're going to ask our director of uh, music, uh, Sister Ravel, if she will give us another selection, please. Praise the Lord. I'm back on. Give me one second. Can y'all hear me? Yes. All right. Hmm. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. For he is a mighty good leader, and again I say rejoice. The Lord is a mighty good leader, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, yeah, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, yeah, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. Rejoice, rejoice, again I say rejoice. Rejoice, yes, rejoice, and again I say rejoice. Thank you, Sister Ravel. Um, Sometimes we have technical difficulties, but the Lord still have a way, having a ram in the bush. To help us through on this morning, we'd like to thank our brother MacArthur for the prayer, the reading of the 23rd Psalm, which is always appropriate because the Lord knows God and Lord Jesus is our shepherd. We understand that. We will now have announcements from our pastor, the Reverend Frank Hawkins. Pastor Hawkins. I bless you this morning. We're grateful to God. We thank you for all the participants this morning on our worship service amen and we thank you for the reading of the word thank you trustee harvey uh, brother harvey we thank you uh, to make joy to the world the lord has come amen thank you dr Arthur, for the prayer to the song excited your prayer third song amen the lord is our shepherd and everything that we need is entitled in that 23rd psalm god bless you thank you for uh filling in sister may uh brother george well, he's somewhere on the line but we'll get to him god bless you our announcements are brief this morning as we are coming down to the end of a another year we're grateful to god that we can see december the 20th 
many started out on January 1st and they have gone on to where travelers never known to return. But yet here we are still in the land of the dying on our way to the land of the living. And we just thank God for his keeping power. He has kept us, he has sustained us, he has blessed us, brought us safe this far on our journey. And just uh, a few more risings and setting of the sun and we'll be done with the troubles of this world. And so we do our best to serve the Lord. We serve him with gladness. We're grateful to God. Uh, let us be mindful on this Tuesday night, we're gonna have our prayer service beginning at 6.30. Uh, our prayer service for the uh, again at 6 30 our bible study we're going to resume our bible study in the new year uh, we'll take a little two-week break and we'll come back in the new year but our prayer is always in order family that prays together will stay together and so uh, this tuesday night at 6 30 we're going to continue to praise god after and people will be on the line together come back as we close out we probably we will always have a word of inspiration that will point you in the right direction so we're looking forward to that uh, bless the lord as you go through these holiday seasons take the lord with you if every time that we needed the lord in our lives every time that we need to be covered under the blood it sure is now and so uh, go through this holiday season take the lord with you uh, be with your family and friends uh, we know we we're in a COVID condition and pandemic is in the land but just be prayerful uh, be mindful and be thoughtful as you uh, go throughout this season for we know that jesus is the reason for the season we thank god for gifts and uh, gatherings but it's all about christ it's, it's the time of the year that a date has been set out on the earthly realm to recognize the birth of our lord and christ so we thank god that we're able to fellowship and celebrate as part of the gospel let's also keep in mind let's keep in prayer our sick and our shut-in and those still going through bereavement let's keep uh sister maddie hubbard in prayer uh, the transitioning of her, her sister let's keep our sick and shut-in in prayer have our mother uh, naomi austin Mother Lavinia Brown and Mother Lise Cook, they're in the uh, rehabilitation facility. Let's keep them in prayer. I found out also that let's keep our sister Geneva Williams. She's in the hospital, Columbia Presbyterian. I was able to make my way over there on yesterday evening, uh, but I was not able to get upstairs to visit her. Uh, sometime, if you, I went, it's six o'clock, and I went a few minutes after six. Sometimes the hospital, some hospitals are, are gracious and kind to grant the clergy, uh, you know, some courtesy. Uh, but yesterday I must have run into the wrong security, so he didn't he didn't budge one bit. Uh, but nevertheless, I was our prayers and intention was to be there to visit with our sister. Let's keep her prayers. You know, she's the old strong warrior of Greater Central, and she is the lover of the Lord. Uh, uh, sister Eleanor Hunt is requesting the prayers of the church. For her brother who's going through some illness i believe uh, let's keep her brother leroy in prayer also just want to bring a bit of information as we go forth into the new year uh on the, the other night uh, the pastor officers in the COVID 19 committee we met to discuss the uh, uh reopening of the sanctuary we were considering that considering that a few months ago in the month of october september october considering january the first to be a first a good time to open up the sanctuary to return to the sanctuary for worship but as we see there is a spike in this COVID-19 uh, virus and and the pandemic it seems as though is uh, resurfacing again uh, so with our decision a joint decision between the past and the offices and COVID-19 based on their recommendation uh, that we will delay our uh, reopening of the sanctuary further notice uh, we're going to continue to analyze and see what's going on in the land and we thank god for the vaccine vaccination that has come out uh, we pray that you consider uh, when it's your time it's called to take the vaccination you pray and ask god for guidance uh, what's best uh, but nevertheless uh, we're going to delay our opening of the sanctuary to another 
we'll meet in a, another month or two and we'll decide uh, what's going on at that time and select a target date that will be beneficial uh, to our people. We're always mindful of the health and the well-being of God's people. Uh, God give us common sense, so it's up to us to utilize it or not. And so as pastor and overseer, under shepherd, I just want to be considerate of everybody. I know some, I'm, a, I'm eager to return to the sanctuary, but you know, when we do return, it's going to be a new norm that exists anyway. So we're just making proper, proper preparations. We thank God for our COVID-19 committee. They've done a great job, marvelous job. When you get to the sanctuary, if you haven't been there already, you'll see that the work that has been done to make the environment as safe as possible while we're in the sanctuary. So we do thank God for them. And uh, we'll bring you back further notice. Also be mindful, uh, uh, there's some new regulations that we're gonna have to abide by even when we do come back and go into the sanctuary. Most of the time it's for funerals at this time. Uh, there are some guidelines that we have to adhere to. There's a number that has been set uh, percentage-wise, a number-wise, that's 50. So when you, uh, I have to come back, have to utilize the sanctuary uh, for funeral. So far, uh, it may decrease or increase, but we have to play it by ear. But the number is set at 50. So for your family and friends, for those even church members that desire to uh, be there with the family, the, the, the maximum number is, one, is 50. And so our team is in place. They have special guidelines that we all will have to adhere to, even the undertakers. Amen. We get our information from the CDC and we try to uh, do our best to comply. Amen. So that information will come out later on, but just keep in mind, if you have to come to the sanctuary, uh, the, the maximum number is going to be 50 family. So you have to decide who is going to be on that list. I understand what it's all about. Uh, the early part of the year, on March, April the 4th, I believe, uh, when we uh, in high in that, uh, pandemic in the land, the undertaker gave you the number, how many people you could have uh, admitted into the sanctuary. So that's where we find ourselves going right back to those regulations. God bless you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Shout out. Uh, bless the Lord for those who celebrated the birthday. And on our list, uh, have our Sister Frances Hill, amen. God's willing, on the 31st, she's going to celebrate a birthday. That's the name I have so far. If you have any other birthdays between now and the 31st, on behalf of the pastor, officers, and disciples of Greater Central, we just want to wish you a, a happy birthday. We want to wish each and every one a, a Merry Christmas and a blessed and prosperous New Year. Praying that uh, next year, 2021, be a year blessings, uh, a, a year of restoration, fresh <laughs> after the time that we've been in the year of 2020, uh, we need to uh, uh, be restored and what is God has us, we're so grateful for that. So God bless your heart, amen, uh, we thank God every one of you. We're going to turn it back into the hands of uh, uh, you, Deacon Cooper. Amen. Our worship leader. God bless you, Deacon Cooper. You can Thank, you. Thank you, Pastor, for the announcements and concerns. Uh, well, everybody, this is now preaching time. And we are asking you right now to sit back with your tent doors open and prepare to hear the word of God. And we are praying that, we, that you will pray along with the pastor and for the pastor as he brings the word. And that the word today will encourage you to not only to be hearers of God's word, but also be doers of God's word. And following the, the sermonic selection by our deacon Frank Bryan, the next voice you will hear will be that of our pastor, the Reverend Frank Hawkins, delivering the word of God. Deacon, deacon Frank Bryan, you're on. Good morning. We give honor to God who is the head of my life and to, to 
to my pastor, Mr. Mike Hawkins, Minister Graham, and Minister Hayes, Evangelist Cooper, and to all the deacons and you, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Truly, we give God thanks for another Sunday. Amen. <coughs> <coughs> Oh, come, oh, be faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come, ye, oh, come, ye, to bear. Come and be whole born the King of Israel. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. The Lord sing while the sing in exultation, sing all the bright hope of heaven above. Glory to God, all the good in the highest. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Oh, come, let us adore Him. In Christ the Lord, give the Lord, we greet thee, born this happy morning, Jesus to thee be all glory. Words of thy Father, now in flesh appearing. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us. Adore him in Christ the Lord. God bless your hearts this morning. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we come now to say thank you. We thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your tender mercies. We thank you, O oh God, for being God besides you. There is no other. You're a God who yet sits high but looks down low. You're a God who is the creator of both the heaven and earth. You're a God that looks beyond our faults and see our very need. You're a God that loved us so that you gave your only begotten son. Whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have eternal everlasting life. You're a God that still have us in the hollow of your hand. You still hold us and we say thank you, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for all that you have already done. We thank you, O oh God, for your grace and your mercy that brought us safe this far. Thank you, O oh God, for being our shepherd, O oh God, that we shall not want. Thank you for being our, O oh God, the, the, our light, O oh God, and our salvation. O oh God, thank you for being a present help in the time of trouble. O oh God, thank you for being our bridge over troubled water. Thank you for being our... Uh, 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 bread in a starving land. Thank you for being a rock in a weary land. Oh God, we thank you for all that you have done, what you're doing right now, and what you will do. 
Oh God, as now as we come to share the word of God, the bread of life with your people, oh God. Speak, Lord, thy servant heareth, oh God. Speak to my heart, Holy Spirit, oh God. None of me, but all of thee, oh God. Let your word go forth with power. Let it go forth with conviction, oh God. Let it go forth with clarity, oh God, that it would even pierce uh, the heart and the sonder of the soul, that it would cause transformation to come into the lives of your people. Even now as the sower go forth the sow, we pray that your word, which is the seed, fall on good ground. Oh God, that it become fruitful in the life of your people. Create within me once again a clean heart and renew the right spirit. And Lord, we all be mindful to give you glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Send it on down, Lord. Send it on down, Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. Send it on down, Lord, send it on down, you know, Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. Well, can't do nothing to you. Send it on down, Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. Can't do nothing to you. Send it on down. Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. Living, he loved me. Dying, he saved me. Buried, he carried my sin far away. Rising, he justified, freeing me forever. One day, he's coming back. Glory. Send it on down. Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. God bless you this morning. We can't do nothing till he sent it down. Lord, let your Holy Ghost come down. Amen. The preacher preach bright. He preach better with the power of the Holy Ghost. Lord, let your Holy Ghost come on down. Oh, God, we thank you. Let it fill the tabernacle. Let it fill, oh, God, let it fill the temples of our hearts. Oh, God, we need the Holy Ghost. Amen. We can't do nothing without the Holy Ghost. David declared, Lord, whatever you do, don't move your spirit from me. Oh, God, we come today to raise the praise. How many of you know when the praises go up? Oh, God, the heavens are open up. Amen. And God will speak. Amen to your circumstance. God is shine. Amen. That's all we want the Lord to do. Shine on me. Let the light. Come on. Can I get a witness today? Do you want the light from the lighthouse to shine on you this morning? Hey, hallelujah. Shine on me. God is able to let his light shine on you today. Amen. God bless your heart. I'm not going to be with you long. It seems as though we have a uh, movement, amen, and it's moving right along. So I'm not going to hinder the spirit. I'm going to flow with the spirit. I want to leave one verse of scripture with you this morning for you to meditate on, for you, amen, to digest. And I encourage you, it's going to be found in the gospel of, of Jesus Christ according to Matthew, amen, Matthew chapter 2 and verse number 11, one verse. Uh, Matthew chapter 2, verse 11. We was in this book on yesterday in our church school. Amen. Thank you, Sister Foreman, for uh, rightly dividing the word of God as our facilitator on yesterday. Amen. And there was something there that the Lord was revealing to me. Amen. Prior to our church school. So it lets me know that we're on one accord. Amen. When we can stay in the same book. Amen. The Lord revealed unto me in verse 11. Look at what it says in verse 11 of Matthew chapter 2. Amen. This one verse says, And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. Amen. They fell down and worshipped him. They presented unto him gifts. Somebody say gifts. Gifts. Gold and frankincense and marrow. Amen. They presented unto him gifts. Gold and frankincense and marrow. Amen. I want to talk about this morning just for a few moments. Uh, bring your best gift. Amen. Somebody said preach preacher this morning. We're going to talk about 
bring in, bring, bring your best gift. Uh, bring your best gift. Brothers and sisters, the word gift is defined as something voluntary, transferred or given uh, by one person to another without compensation. Gift is the act, the right or power of giving. A gift is a present, a donation, a bestowal or, or a blessing. A gift is something easy to give. A gift is something easy to do. Amen. God bless you. Amen. We can see a little better now. Gifts are beautiful when you're the recipient uh, and on the receiving end. But God really blesses those who are the giver. Come on now. That's where the blessing really comes from. The giver of the gifts. Uh, the presenter of the gift. That's where the blessing really comes from. Amen. How do you know? Well, I looked in the New Testament, 2 uh, Corinthians 9 and 7, says, every man according as he proposes in his heart, so let him give. Amen. Not grudgingly or out of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. Amen. God doesn't despise a cheerful giver, but God loves. Amen. A cheerful giver. Amen. When you give, God has has a blessing in store for you. And when I thought when I think about it, God sees the heart of every person who presents a gift. And aren't you glad about that? He knows whether you're giving it with love and he knows whether you're giving it with sincerity. He knows uh, are you giving it with a generous spirit? God knows your heart. Uh, brothers and sisters, the background of the text uh, this morning from second uh, chapter of Matthew uh, says the wise men from the east travel to Jerusalem seeking to see the king. Uh, for they inquired when they arrived in Jerusalem, where is he that is born king of the Jews? Uh, for we have seen his star in the east and we are come to worship him. Brothers and sisters, not much is known about these wise men uh, called Magi's. Uh, their uh, identity still remains anonymous. Some say, amen, some say they were three kings or men. Others say that they were more than three men. Uh, some say they were men of high position from Pertha near the ancient Babylonian where some Jews remain after exile. Some say that they were emissaries um, from Persia or one of the foreign nations who were uh, traveling, uh, seeking the truth. Um, uh, when you're looking, every time you come, you are to seek the truth. But Jesus, because Jesus declared that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, can I get a witness? Um, some say they were influential men of learning and higher authority. Um, uh, they were skilled scientists um, of their day. Um, they were skilled men in philosophy. They were skilled in medicine and they were skilled in astrology. Uh, but the main thing, brothers and sisters, they came seeking Jesus. Um, they came wanting to see and worship the King of Kings. Um, they traveled thousands of miles um, just to be in the presence um, of Jesus. And when I look at that text, brothers and sisters, um, it causes me uh, to feel a little low in my spirit. It causes me to feel a little bad because I think about present day people. Um, uh, they travel thousands of miles, the, the, the wise men, just to be in the presence of Jesus. Uh, but we have people right here, right in our neighborhoods, um, right in our communities, um, right in our families. Um, uh, they won't even go across the street. Um, they won't even walk down the block. Um, they won't even come down the stairs. Um, uh, because nowadays we have churches um, that have development buildings, living apartment high rises on top of the church. Um, and people are too lazy to come down the stairs. Um, uh, have mercy, Lord. They won't even take a bus. Um, 
They won't even take a train or a cab uh, to worship the Lord um, on the Lord's day. Um, I commend many of our members, uh, disciples of Greater Central, uh, who press their way just to be in the presence um, of the Lord and God will honor them. Uh, he will honor them your desire just to be in his presence. Um, they said um, when they arrived in Jerusalem, um, we've seen his star in the east um, and we've come to worship him. Um, uh, this star, brothers and sisters, um, was a star of Jesus. Um, and I, I know, brothers and sisters, um, uh, it may seem uh, unimaginable uh, or imaginary to the unbelievers um, that, uh, but uh, about a star that can be in the sky that can lead people thousands of miles um, to the unbeliever this phantom their faith and their belief um, but I want to let you know one thing uh, but can't God um, can't God create a star that will guide people to the destination that he'll have them to go can't God the creator of the heaven and earth um, the God who made the sun the moon and the stars. Um, can he make a special star? Amen. In the sky. Can't God, the one who prepared a great fish, um, who that fish that swallowed Jonah, kept him down in his belly for three days um, and spit him up on dry ground? Um, can't God, uh, can he prepare a special star as a sign um, that his only begotten son um, have come into the world? Um, they followed him. Um, this star, and when I think about following the star, I think about the song that says, I will guide thee um, with mine eye. I think about the song that said, guide me, O thou great Jehovah. I'm pilgrim through this barren land. I'm, I am weak, um, but thou art mighty. Um, hold me with thy powerful hand. Um, have mercy, Lord. The star led them to Jerusalem. Um, but Jerusalem, brothers and sisters, um, wasn't their final destination. While in Jerusalem, along their journey, they came across an evil spirit um, by the name of King Herod. Um, and brothers and sisters, on your journey and on my journey, we're going to encounter some evil spirits. Um, but keep on journeying. Um, Oh, Herod, um, he declared who about the king, um, and he told him, when you come um, and you find him, come back and tell me where I can relate, where I can find him, because he had a different agenda. He told him that he wanted to worship him, but his agenda was to slay, trying to king, kill King Jesus. Um, have mercy, Lord. Um, but they heard um, while in Jerusalem, mercy, Lord, God will always speak him. Um, God will always show up um, while in Jerusalem. They heard a prophetic saying, have mercy, Lord. They heard the chief priest um, and the scribe quote um, from the book of Micah, first chapter five and verse number two. But thou Bethlehem um, in the land of Judah and art not thou the least among the princes of Judah. For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Um, I stop to let you know, brothers and sisters, um, you can't stop, um, you can't prevent, um, you can't hold up um, the prophetic word of God. Um, if God said it, um, you ought to believe it, um, and it shall come to pass. Um, these wise men, um, they traveled uh, a little bit further um, to, from Jerusalem to Bethlehem, um, was a five or six mile journey. And I want to let you know, if you want to get to Jesus, um, You've got to travel a little further. You've got to press on a little harder. Have mercy, Lord. I know we're going through a pandemic, but I want to let you know something. Hold on a little while longer. Everything is going to be all right. Pray on a little while longer. Everything is going to be all right. Press on a little while further. Everything is going to be all right. Uh, these wise men uh, traveled down to Bethlehem, uh, the city of bread, uh, and went on their journey. The star reappeared. Uh, 
Won't God show up? Uh, won't he show up? Uh, and when God shows up, um, he'll show out. Um, he may not come when you want him, um, but he'll always be on time. Uh, and when they saw the star again, um, the Bible said um, that they rejoiced with an exceedingly great joy. God through the star showed up right on time. Um, they took joy to an extreme. Um, they took joy to another level um, because they was about to um, to be in the presence of the Lord. Um, brothers and sisters, um, you ought to get happy. You ought to get excited. You ought to be filled with joy because the expectation of being in the presence of the Lord. Um, I woke up this morning with my mind um, stared on Jesus because I had expectation um, of being in God's presence. Um, when I come to the house of God, um, I come with expectation of God is going to do something. I want to be um, in his presence. Um, I want to be filled um, with joy on the Lord's day. Um, the songwriter said to him, knowledge is saying, when we all um, get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing it will be. When we all um, see Jesus, um, we'll sing and shout um, the victory. Can I get a witness? You ought to get happy. Enter his gates um, with thanksgiving um, and come into his courts um, with praise. Be thankful unto him um, and bless his name for the Lord is good. Um, his mercy is everlasting. His truth endureth to all generations. We're about um, to come into the presence um, of the Lord. Um, and the text says in verse 11, um, and when they were come up into the house, um, Brothers and sisters, um, if you want to experience um, the presence of the Lord, um, if you want to experience um, a transformation, you've got to come um, in the house. Um, if you want to be saved, um, it's in the house. Um, if you want to experience joy, it's in the house. Um, that's the reason why our children and men and women, boys and girls, are drifting away today because they're not in the house. Um, that's the reason why souls um, are being lost, um, because they won't come in the house. Um, that's the reason um, why spirits are withering like grass um, and they're fading like flowers, um, because they won't come in the house. Um, even in the days of Noah, um, if you wanted to be saved, um, you had to come in the ark. Um, you got to come in the house. Um, Hallelujah. I still hear the evangelistic choir sing. Why don't you come on in this house? Um, come on in the house um, of the Lord. Uh, have mercy, Lord. It's not a house um, made of brick or mortar, but it's a spiritual house. Um, can I get a witness? Um, if you want to get in this house, um, hallelujah, you must be. Uh, you got to be uh, born again. Um, that which is born of the flesh um, is flesh, um, but that which is born of the spirit um, is spirit. Um, thank you, Lord. Um, and the Bible says they saw um, the young child um, with Mary, his mother. Um, and when our brothers and sisters um, have mercy, Lord, um, when I get to God's house, um, I don't know about you, but I rejoice because I see the ministers. Um, you ought to rejoice because you see the pastor the deacons and the mothers and the disciples. You ought to get happy because you got family and friends. Um, hallelujah. In the house. Um, but you ought to become uh, exuberant. Um, you ought to become ecstatic. Um, have mercy, Lord, because you're in the presence um, of the Lord. Um, can't nobody do you like Jesus. Um, can't nobody do you like the Lord? Um, we thank God for all the people that we see that we fellowship with in the Lord's house. Um, but can nobody do you like Jesus? John said, I was in the spirit um, on the Lord's day. Um, can I get a witness? Um, when you come into God's house, um, you ought to be in his presence. Um, you want to be in the spirit. Um, if you plan on going to heaven, um, you're going to heaven. Um, not because your father and mother is there. You're going to heaven. Um, not because your sister and brother is there. 
you're going to heaven um, not because your husband or wife is there but oh i want um, to see him um, to look upon his face um hallelujah hallelujah cares um have mercy to oh to lift my voice um, cares all past um, on at last um, ever to rejoice um, when i see jesus um, when i see jesus um, i'll be able to say um amen um why do we come into the house um, of the lord um, have mercy lord i'm gonna give you three reasons um, and then i'm gonna bid you farewell um we want to come into the house of the lord um, when you get in the house um you've got to humble yourself um humble yourself um before the lord um the scripture said they bowed down um they bowed down um brothers and sisters um don't come in god's presence um with a proud haughty spirit um you can't come in god's presence um being more than you ought to be um but when you come in god's presence um you've got to humble yourself um under the mighty arms of god um in god's presence um you we're just flesh and blood um, when you're in god's presence um, you're just a vapor subject to vanish um, in god's presence um, you're just like a bubble um subject to birth um, i don't care about you um, you may be famous um, you may be renowned um, you may be outstanding uh, but in god's presence um have mercy lord we're just about filthy rags um, we're all sinners um saved by grace um have mercy lord you got to humble yourself um, you got to recognize um, that you're in the presence um, the, of the almighty god uh, have mercy my faith um, looks up to thee thou lamb um, of calvary uh, savior divine uh, have mercy lord you got to bow down bow down uh, and worship the lord uh, have mercy lord uh, number two uh, when you get in his presence um, after humbling yourself um, after bowing down um, then you have to worship um, that's what the bible says they bow down and then they worship um, worship um, worship is an expression of a relationship um, between the creator um, and the created um, when you worship um, you pay religious reverence um, and homage to god um, in thought, um, in feeling, and in actions. Um, when you worship, um, you express adoration. Um, you lift Jesus higher. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, um, I draw. When you give adoration, you let God know there is none like him. Um, he's almighty. He's all omnipotent, or, or omnipresent, um, and omniscient. Um, he has thorough knowledge. Um, hallelujah. He is. Um, the capital G O D. Have mercy, Lord, when you worship God um, in true in, in, in true worship, in pure worship, you'll find yourself um, not asking God um, for anything, but you find yourself um, giving God your all. Um, that's what pure worship is all about. Um, you're not begging. You're not uh, have mercy, Lord. You're not even praying, but you're just praising God. Um, this is my story. This is my song. Uh, I'm praising my Savior all the day long. You're not asking, but you're giving a sacrifice, um, a sacrifice of praise. Uh, David the psalmist said, um, Thou desirest not sacrifice, else I would give it. Um, uh, thou desirest not in burnt offering. But the sacrifice of God um, is a broken spirit, um, a broken and contrite heart. Uh, oh God, thou will not despise them. Um, worship um, is recognizing God um, for who he is. Um, have mercy, Lord. When you worship, um, have mercy, you come out of yourself. Um, when you worship, you really don't know what you're going to say. When you worship, um, you really don't know what you're going to do. When you worship, um, you forget about yourself. Um, something on the inside uh, begins to show up uh, on the outside. Have mercy, Lord, when you worship, uh, when you take your mind off of the things that surround you, when you open up your heart and your mind uh, with my hands lifted up, uh, with my heart filled with praise, uh, with a heart of thanksgiving, you begin to bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord. Oh, my soul, 
when you worship, uh, they bow down. Uh, and I want to let you know you may start out um, bowing down, um, but when you get in true worship, the Spirit of God will lift you up, um, lift you up um, on a higher plane. Um, number three, and I'm going to bid you farewell, um, the effect um, of pure worship. Um, uh, it will cause you um, to open up the treasures. Um, it will cause you to open, to go in your bag. Um, it will cause you um, to open up the treasures of your heart um, and present them um, to bring your gifts um, to the Lord. That's how you know that you're in real worship. Um, you'll open up uh, the treasures of your heart. Um, it will cause you um, to give a sacrificial offering, a sacrificial gift um, to God. Um, you don't give them the least, um, but you'll give God your best. Um, have mercy, Lord. You'll give your glass um, because it's your best. Um, give God your best. Um, what are you going to give them um, in worship? Um, you're going to give them your best praise. Um, have mercy, Lord. Give them your best praise um, because of who you are. I give you glory because of who you are. I give you praise. Um, I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Praise um, is what I do. I owe it all to you. Um, have mercy, Lord. Give them your best. Um, give them your best love. Um, I'm going to love them um, with all my heart, um, my mind, my soul, and strength. Um, I'm going to live in love. Um, I'm going to walk in love. I'm going to do love. Um, I'm going to show love um, to my neighbor as even my enemy. Um, that's true love. Um, give them the best gift. Um, the best gift, um, even when it comes to tithes um, and offering, um, bring God um, your best gift. Um, bring them your best tithe. Um, bring them your best offering. Tithing is what we owe God, um, but your offering is what you sow. So give them your best. Um, and I still say this, um, it's time out from holding out on God. Um, we ought to give God our best because um, he's given us life. Um, if if your if your cell phone bill is more than your tithing, if something is wrong, um, have mercy, Lord. Um, if your, your utility bill um, is more than your tithing, something is wrong. Um, I'm even far go far to say if your mortgage um, and your car payment is more than your giving unto the Lord, something is wrong. Um, but when you give God your best, um, he will continue to supply your needs um, according to his riches and glory. Brothers and sisters, I bid you farewell. Uh, but we ought to teach our children to give God their best, um, their best offering. Um, we have strayed away. I just want to let you know that giving um, is a part of worship. Um, giving is a part of worship. Um, don't hold back on God. When you give, God will bless you. When you give, God will make a way for you. When you give your best gift, um, God will continue to supply your needs um, over and over and over again. Train up a child um, in the way that they should go. Um, and when they grow old, they shall not depart. Um, when I came along, um, the children went to the offering table. When I came along, you had a little envelope. Um, if you train your child to bless God, um, if you train your child to honor God, it will always be a part of them. We said giving God and, and bringing God our best gift. Um, reason why we do that, um, because when we think about Jesus, when we think about God, um, he gave us um, the best gift. Um, when you think about God, um, what gift did he give us? Um, well, brothers and sisters, as I bid you good day, he gave us grace, um, grace, um, his unmerited favor, grace, um, his undeserved love. Um, that's a gift, um, and it came from God. Um, what gift did he give you? Well, if you find yourself um, articulating the word of God, um, if you find yourself um, teaching the word of God, um, if you find yourself, um, hallelujah, spiritual exhortation, that's a gift, um, and it came from God. Um, if you find yourself um, speaking in tongues, um, if you find yourself um, interpreting tongues, um, that's a gift, um, and it came from God. Um, if you find yourself having all knowledge, um, if you find yourself um, 
able to have prophetic speaking. That's a gift, um, and it came from God. Um, if you find yourself um, being skilled, um, naturally skilled, um, being able to do works um, by, my, by your hand, um, that's the gift, um, and it came from God. Um, God gave you the gift, um, but the greatest gift um, that God ever gave um, when he gave his only begotten son, um, that whosoever believeth in him uh, shall not perish, um, but have everlasting life. He gave us the gift um, of salvation. Oh, he gave us the gift um, of eternal life. Um, you ought to get excited, go into your treasures, um, have mercy, Lord, and give God the best gift um, that you have. Um, these wise men, um, they presented Jesus um, with gold, um, which represented um, a gift. Um, have mercy for a king. Um, they pulled out frankincense, um, which is a gift um, for a deity. And they brought back the best of Myra, um, which was um, presented as a gift um, that represents that someone is going to die. They gave him the best. Um, they gave him the best. Um, and if these men can give God the best, um, what about you and I? Give Jesus your best. Give him your all in all. Amen. When you humble yourself, when you buy down, when you worship him, amen. And then when you present him with your best gift, amen. God will be delighted. Amen. Aren't you glad about Jesus? Amen. We have a right to the tree of life. Amen. Because God gave his only begotten the gift. Amen. Amen. And don't get beside yourself because you have, you exercise all the spiritual gifts. It was a gift given. Amen. You can't buy it. Amen. And you definitely can't earn it. Amen. You ought to glorify God with the gifts. Amen. Amen. If you have the gifts of the spirit, amen. If you possess the fruit of the spirit, it's all for the glory of God. Amen. You ought to give God your best gift. Amen. Don't hold back on God. Don't hold back on God because he didn't hold back on you. Amen. Even while we were yet lost in our sin. He waited patiently. Aren't you glad about it? Remember when you and I were lost in sin, wasn't fit to live, but yet wasn't ready to die. But God waited on us. Amen. He gave us the gift of eternal life. And you ought to be glad about it. Don't hold back on God. Amen. 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 Give him your best gift. Give him a sacrifice of praise. Amen. Praise is what I do because I owe it all to you. I lift my hand. And total praise. Amen. Total praise. God bless you today. We love you today. He heard I cry. Amen. Be like those wise men. Amen. Go into the house of the Lord and worship. Bow down and worship. And give God your best sacrifice. Amen. And when you walk out, brothers and sisters, I'm finished now. Amen. But when you leave God's house, you won't come back the same way that you came in. Amen. If you look the Holy Spirit told the men, amen, don't go back the same way that you came. You're going another way. When you leave God's house, you'll come with renewed faith and renewed mind that I'm going to do better. I'm going to live better. Hallelujah. I'm going to worship better when you come into his presence. You won't go back the same way. God bless you. Have mercy and mercy smile, smile upon you. Even now as we close out with that word, Amen. Brothers and sisters, we want to extend to you the invitation of discipleship. If there's there one on the line today that don't have a church home, amen, you may come by letter, Christian experience, or candidate for baptism. Amen. You want to present uh, your best gift to God. And uh, your best gift, your best gift is to be a living sanctuary. Amen. That's the best gift that you can have. Present your body as a living sanctuary. Uh, sacrifice holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Amen. Is there one? Amen. All you have to do is hit star six. Amen. Amen. When you hit star six, amen, a change will come. I don't know how it's going to come, but there is the power of the Holy Ghost. And we believe in the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Be not conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Is there one that today that just want to be under watch care service. Amen. Amen. We extend to you the invitation of discipleship. We have done our duty, but yet there's still room at the cross. God bless your heart. Presenting 
Amen. Giving God your best gift. Amen. I'm so glad that I gave him my life. Amen. A long time ago. Amen. And I'm satisfied with Jesus. Amen. We used to sing a song, satisfied with Jesus, satisfied with God. I looked at my hands and my hands were new. I looked at my feet and they did too. Ever since that wonderful day, my soul is satisfied. Is there one today? Amen. We thank you not robbery to come. You always have to do is three, hit star six. We thank you for last week. Oh, our brother rejoined. Uh, brother Wilson joiner. Amen. He come under Christian uh, reinstatement. Amen. God bless your heart. We have done our duty at this room. And at this time, amen, our brother Wayne Scott is going to come and lead us in prayer. Amen. Brother Scott. Amen. Good morning. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed are all who trust in him. My God, my father, my friend. Lord, I come to you this morning. We come to you this morning, Lord, to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done for us. Lord, it's been a rough year. It's been a tough year. 2020 has been something that none of us has ever experienced in our life or ever thought we would experience, Lord. We've lost friends. We've lost loved ones, Lord. There's been total chaos throughout the world. But, Lord, you kept us here. You kept us, Lord, and we thank you, Father. We thank you for keeping us, Lord. And, Lord, I pray that we learn something, that we find the good in all of the things that happened this year, Lord, there's always something good to find, Lord. And I pray one of the things that we find is life, love. Life is too short to continue to argue and bicker amongst ourselves. We all have one thing in common, Father, and that's you, your love, your kingdom, Lord. So help us to come together, Lord, to love, to learn, help us to love each other, Lord. Help us to come together, Lord, and, and, and get rid of our differences, Father, because life is too short. Father, continue to bless us. Watch over us, Lord. I, I pray, Lord, for our ministerial staff. I pray for our motherboard. I, I, I pray for our trustees. I pray for the church, for the church family, Lord, for each and every member of Greater Central Baptist Church. Lord, touch us. And on this day, Lord, I pray that you will touch us, that you will, you will open our hearts, soften our hearts, Lord, and help us to do something, something, Lord, that will be acceptable in your sight, Lord, on this day. Help us to reach out and touch someone, Lord, with a smile, with a word, anything, Lord, but to help make a difference in someone's life, Father. Father, I pray that you bless our pastor. Continue to bless him with the word. And thank you for the word this morning, Lord. Continue to bless him and give him what he needs. Give our pastor all the help that he needs, Father, so he can continue to do the work that you set before him. Lord, we love you. We love you, Father. Help us, Lord, to love each other and to give you our best. Lord, forgive us for our sins. And Father, we will always give your name, all the praise, all the honor that you so rightfully deserve. All these blessings we ask in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I bless you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Deacon Cooper, for being our worship leader. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. Pray the Lord. Let us not Thursday morning morning friday morning christmas morning uh we will have worship at 10 a.m if the lord's will one hour if not an hour it's going to be short sweet and won't be long but we will be strong we have a little fellowship on christmas morning at 10 a.m feel free to join us god bless you as they come now to the close of our worship service they said they sung a hymn 
Amen. The my spirit says, go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Hallelujah. Now go tell it on the mountain. Over the hills and everywhere, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. God bless you. Now unto him who was able to keep you from falling, present your faultless for the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. Tell me why God I see you, be glory, majesty, dominion, and power both now and forever. People of God said, Amen. 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 Thank you.